Mr. T here with a uh, second tutorial on trigonometry. We're going to work uh, two problems here, just some quick uh, applications of right triangle trigonometry. The most important skill that you can develop with working these word problems on trig is translating the words into a trig problem, getting the right trig equations, and I find drawing a sketch is the easiest. So. Uh, we have a term here, angle of elevation, so let's talk about that before we get into this specific problem. So let's make sure we know what we're talking about here, angle of elevation. So you kind of need to visualize here that we are, are looking at something. So I'm a horrible uh, drawer of people here, so let's draw a stick figure and we've got our, those are supposed to be eyes. So when we're doing angle of elevation, we start out by looking horizontally at something, and we sweep our eyes or tilt our head up. So we're sweeping our eyes up until we look at something. And in this problem here, we're going to be looking up at the sun. And that angle that is formed between the horizontal and the object that we're looking at is called an angle of elevation. So we are, as you would think with the word elevation, we are looking up. Now the problem that we have with some of these problems, you kind of have to pretend that, because we're we'll be measuring the angles to the ground, so you kind of need to pretend you're lying on the ground and then looking up. So we'll talk about the second kind of angle when we get to our next problem. So let's uh, get rid of this stuff here and work our problem. So we have a uh, in our problem some kind of building and we're trying to find how tall that building is so we don't know its height. We have the uh, Sun that's rays are coming down and it's casting a shadow, so our shadow is going out if this is our ground here. From here to here is our shadow. And we are told an angle of elevation, so remember our eyes are right here looking up at the sun, so we're on the ground and we're looking up, so our angle of elevation goes right here, 20 degrees. Now we assume our building is perpendicular to the ground, it's not the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and we also know here that our shadow is 200 feet. And we want to know the height of this building. Since it's a right triangle here, we can use our Sokotoa. And many of you may be opposite, I mean obvious which trig function to use, but let's again talk through this. So relative to our given angle, we're working with or trying to find an opposite side. So opposite could be using the sine function or the tangent function. And we know the adjacent side, so that could be cosine or tangent. Now the only one we have enough information to solve a trig problem is this one, so the tangent. So our equation that we're going to set up is going to be tangent of 20 degrees equals opposite, which is h over our length of our shadow, which is adjacent to the angle. So we solve for h by multiplying by 200. And then we need to use a calculator to calculate that. This is not a special angle. Now remember, anytime you start a new problem or you power up a new calculator on trig, we want to make sure we're in the right mode. And we're working in degrees here, so we want to make sure we're in degree mode. It's always worth double checking because if it's in that other mode, you're going to get different answers. 200 times tan of 20. And we get 72.8 feet. So our building in this situation is 72.8 feet tall. Okay, let's look at our next problem. This one, before we get into it, is using the words here, angle of depression. So again, let's have our person here. And they are, on angle of depression, they are looking 
from the horizontal and they are looking down at some object, maybe something on the ground. So we are tilting our head down and the angle of elevate, I mean, sorry, depression is right here. Angles of depression problems tend to be a little harder because frequently this angle might be outside of the angle we're interested in. We might be interested in this triangle over here and we'll have to do, use a little extra geometry to uh, solve our problem. So let's look at here. We have a boat on the surface of the water that using sonar detects a submarine that's under the water and they point the sonar uh, at a particular angle that they've determined and measure and they get the ping back on the sonar that the sub is 4,000 feet away and we want to know what's the depth of the submarine. So I'm not a good artist but let's again sketch something. So we have the surface of the water here and we have a boat, some kind of cruiser here on the water and under the water down here somewhere we have a submarine and when we are sending the sonar waves down at the submarine and we get the ping back we are told or we figured out and calculate that this is 4,000 feet and our angle of depression so it's measured from this horizontal down is 34 degrees and we want to know the depth, so we want to know this distance of the uh, submarine. Now in this case it's a simpler one. Our angle of depression happened to be in the triangle, although we could have driven, drawn a triangle over here, in which case then the 34 degrees would be outside of our triangle. Again, we're using Sokotoa. Let's just change colors here just for the sake of it. So we have Again, so Katoa. Oops, I can't spell here. Now we know the, or we're trying to find a opposite angle again. And this time we know, because our right angle is here, we know the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse. So this is the only one we've got enough information. So to solve our problem, we can set up the sine of 34 degrees equals opposite, which is D over 4,000. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by 4,000, degrees, and we can use our calculator to get that answer. So we've got here 4,000 times this time the sine of 34 degrees and we get 2,000 to about 2,000 to uh, 37 feet so 2,237 feet deep alright so again key thing you don't have to be a good artist but uh, sketch these diagrams when you work the trig problems and you're gonna have uh, much greater success good luck Thank you.